So what do you do when auditors attack? Right. So an auditor should be the most experienced person in an organisation. They should have experienced so many things and so many environments that actually they know a lot about things that they're looking at. That's not always the case. There have been many examples of auditors who have shown their incompetence and ignorance in many cases. For instance, some years ago, there was a QSA who asked for a printed out list of all the password hashes of an organisation so they could be compared to a rainbow table somewhere. Ridiculous. Just recently, a colleague of mine is having an issue with an auditor whereby they are asking for certain folders within the Microsoft system environment to be locked from a user. Even Microsoft have clearly stated that this is not possible under normal operations. Very, very frustrating. So if this is you, what do you do? Well, the first thing is during the audit, try and actually talk through the issue with the auditor face to face at the time. It may feel like you're using up a lot of time, but actually doing it there and then is really important. If that doesn't work, then you're going to have to wait until the formal report gets issued, at which point you have a number of options. Firstly, whatever it is, it should be formal. You should write a formal concern and a formal complaint to the actual auditing body you know, or even the line manager of the auditor. You can also talk to whomever commissioned the audit in the first place. That might be a client, for instance, because they may also see this as a non-issue. If that doesn't work, you need to try and actually sit down face to face with the auditor and the auditor's line manager and whomever commissioned the audit. This may result in the finding being downgraded, not necessarily struck off the audit as you might wish, but far enough down that it becomes a bit of a non-issue. The challenge, of course, is the auditor must save face in many cases, not just for a sense of ego, but for legal reasons as well. Otherwise, you could be bringing a case for wasted time, etc., against the audit company. So there's a number of issues here that you need to address as soon and formally as possible. And sometimes those audit findings are just going to stick around, in which case you're going to have to look at other means and measures that you can mitigate them, not just ignore it. Ignoring an audit finding is always a problem. Working around it and finding other solutions is going to be your best bet.